Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for the Gizwiz is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick DiBartolo. This is episode 1473, recorded Wednesday, June 18th, 2014. Here today, gone tomorrow. This episode of The Gizwiz is brought to you by NatureBox, where you can order great tasting healthy snacks delivered right to your door. Forget the vending machine and get in shape with healthy, delicious treats like cherry vanilla granola. To get 50% off your first box, go to naturebox.com twit. That's naturebox.com twit. And now, get ready for Dick. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we got jackets, we got mice that are cars, and we will punch you in the face. All next. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D. And OMG Chad. On TV. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. 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 Welcome to the Gizwiz with Mads Mattis writer Dick DiBartolo. How are you doing? I'm doing super. I am. I am. It's just amazing that we both got I, our hair. We have to uh, say, taken care of right off the show. Without, yeah, your hair's. Well, hmm. Yeah. Well, you know what? I've Different. been wearing a bald cap oh. and a fake mustache, and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to be my natural self. So this is what it looks like, and I'll, I'll take the stash off now. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this only works for the people who are listening to the audio Yeah, version. man, that you're there's, you have a stiff upper lip for yeah, real. Yeah, I do, yeah. Yikes, the thing must, looks like it's made out of steel. Um, yeah, we have to say for the video listeners, I got a haircut. Wow. Yesterday. Wow. For the In video honor listeners. of... <laughs> the, in the what, Sagan? Uh, are you going somewhere, no. or are you an accepting an award, just or are you the, just the summer cut? You know, I felt that the hair over my ears is too much, so I just shaved it right off, and now oh. I don't have to deal with that. I'm, I'm ear, my ears are now free. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a cross between Skrillex and uh, I don't know. And did you do that yourself? No, I went to a I oh. went to a place, and it wasn't even okay. premeditated. I, well, I did it happen to be like a hair cutting place? It, or well, a it did. It did. Okay. I, 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 I started out at a saloon, and it and it wasn't quite the same as a salon. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but but it was. I was just sitting there, and and the hairdresser was just like, "You want to do something different?" I was like, "Yeah, I guess." And she was like, "Let's cut the size of your hair head off." <laughs> Wait, that sounds right. Let's cut your hair, the side of your hair. And uh, I said, sure. And she said, I'm going to go short. And I was like, go ahead. And wow. So, yeah, we came up with this. Wow. So this Amazing. is the new haircut. Yeah. And I'm going to keep the sides, uh, I think, natural hair color. I'm not going to try oh, to redo okay. them. You know? I don't know. You know, so, uh, this is great because when people say, uh, you know, what is your natural hair yeah. color? You just go, uh. Over uh, here. Yeah. Over yeah. here. So... <laughs> Yeah, that's been that's been the talk of the town today here at Twit is the new, it's the new Chad. Uh, wow, <laughs> wow! In New York City, this was this wasn't even was the that, talk of this building. No, uh, it wasn't like, talk of the room uh, even. No, the uh, fairway <sighs> looked at me and nodded no and walked away. <laughs> that's about that was the was you know, it even when you the talk of the portcullis or in a in a city with eight million people, you can pretty much do. You know, I, this is my favorite story about New York City. I was going to MAD one morning, and traffic was terrible. And I was on, on the bus going downtown. And, you know, you, 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 you can see anything in New York City. And it was l l like uh, a 99-degree day. Yes. And there was a man walking down Broadway, and all he had on was baggy jockey shorts. And because the bus was going slow, we were pretty much pacing him. And I would say once every three blocks, 
someone would turn and look. Otherwise, people would just, it's like, there's a man in his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hot so day. Kind of, what are you going to do? You know? yeah, I, wish, I wish I had that nerve. I the, wish I could gumption. be fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of the fun thing about New York is that, you know, people take, don't care what you do. Just don't get in my way. Exactly. You know? Don't walk slow on the sidewalk, please. Yes. Don't you walk do slow in front of me. Else. Just if right. if you wear if you're wearing just jockey shorts, walk toward the windows, <laughs> where you'll be out of the mainstream. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Man, that is funny. That is so funny. Um, well, really cool. Um, anything else that's happened this past week? No, but you, are you going away? Because I know I Friday we're doing. Uh, we're doing next week's Gizwiz right. this coming Friday, and, and that is because you are... I'm going to a convention. I'm going to uh, a gamer convention, and I'm really excited about it. Um, this is, It's a convention called Play On Con, and it's basically summer camp for geeks. They have... Huh? They have normal things that you would expect at like a geek convention, like LAN parties and panels with, with people who make either video game videos or help develop things and stuff. But they also have activities that you'd associate with like a summer camp for the Boy Scouts. So like archery and gun, gun they have a gun <laughs> range and um, what, the canoeing. And then, and then every night, uh, it's a it's a family it's a family convention, uh, but w there's a curfew and they start checking IDs and you have to wear a wristband to be over 21. And the whole thing there's a party dorm where the whole it's a two story building that just becomes like people a one story building. <laughs> it becomes a one story building at the you yes it, either either by consumption <laughs> or by uh, uh, construction yeah destruction right. um, uh, and. People volunteer to bring, you know, it's almost like a rave where people, you know, bring in their own audio equipment and lights and stuff. I'm, mm -hmm. I wasn't able to get a hotel room. They have a whole different, uh, they have tons of different options. They either have. Well, where, so what city is this in? Uh, the biggest the people who city. Want to stay 50 miles away. Birmingham, Alabama is the closest oh, okay. city, but it is like a 50 minute drive outside of Birmingham. It's, oh, okay. it's in a, shoot, I forget the name of it. Uh, uh, the, uh, it's, there's, a, there's a type, oh gosh, it was like a ecological um, building. It's, a, it's like a government sort of thing um, that they rent out. And so there's, there's dorm rooms there. There's, uh, there's uh, hotels, there's a few hotels, and then there's like even, it's a 4-H, oh, a 4-H, there you are. Um, so, so the, the, and the uh, 4-H is, uh, shoot, I forget what it stands for, but it's a, it's like a, a, a community thing about teaching people about the environment and, and also farming and things like that. Um, but they rent that out, and so you can see people canoeing, and there's a big pool party, but then like, you know, box cosplay going on there's a game room tons of parties this okay. is actually i'm not uh, well and it's the whole week the whole the, it's a weekend it's uh it's like thursday to sunday oh okay um you know there's auditoriums where they do stuff in fact i might even be in these pictures here's a hot dog uh, there's there's a dire dwarf uh i was uh, rooming with him uh last time i might be in these photos no i'm not uh, but yeah, so okay. so this is uh, I can I could go find my my previous uh, photos on Google Plus here. But yeah, I, I I went last year and I'm just so excited. Next this year is going to be so fun, and it's basically just a geek a geek summer summer trip. Uh, wow, if you can imagine it. Wow. So yeah, so that's what I I'm doing. So for the live viewers. If you want to catch the show live, on Friday we're going to be doing a special pre-record of the next week's show. Uh, so that'll be at Friday at around 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern, um, this next coming Friday, if you want to catch the show live. Two days from now. Two days from now. Two days from now we'll be doing another, another episode. Um, Excellent. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think that'll be, that'll be a ton of fun. And um, looking looking forward to uh, to the convention. I'm trying to find here's 
here's my uh, photos from last year uh, where hanging out with a whole bunch of people. We, we befriended a pinata. We called him Jerry. Uh, he won the presidency of the convention. Here's a baby drinking beer. Uh, no, it was, hmm? a, it was a closed yeah. can. Um, here's us at a... They, <laughs> there's some friends having fun. Uh, they had a, a nerd uh, karaoke party where people dress up. They were tossing out uh, glow sticks. I mean, it was, it's just a ton and to- a ton of fun. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing next nice. week when we normally record the show. I'll be flying out to, nice. uh, to Birmingham, Alabama. Well, yeah. your hair is set to go. It is. I got the summer cut. I'm all ready to go. I'm ready to go swimming. I'm ready to go canoeing. And I'm going to shoot some arrows and some stuff and have a ton of fun and party wow. the whole, whole time. Uh, Excellent. Yeah. So let's go ahead and, and get started with our first gadget. Our uh, first gadget, it has a strange name. Uh, you, you, are you familiar with Fugo? No. Fugo? <laughs> okay. Is that a, so, is that a food? Uh, it sounds like a food. Fugo is a new Bluetooth speaker. And you know, when, when we both hear Bluetooth speakers, we go, oh, please, not, not another, another one. <laughs> well, Fugo is pretty unique. Uh, you buy the core... And then they have different jackets depending on what you want to use your Bluetooth speaker for. So it can match your lifestyle or your, your, your design style. But I was totally interested in the Fugu, the Fugu Tough Jacket. And I'll show you the reason why. And it's the first of two Gizwiz videos this week. So Josh, roll that video. Ahoy, mateys! Dick D. Bartell with the Gizwiz Mads Metis Drive at the 79th Street Boat Basin with the Fugu F U G O O Bluetooth speaker. It's in the rugged sport case. First, let me just let you hear what it sounds like or how it sounds. Pretty nifty, eh? It's brand new. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's now, really it nice. Around, you could hear that the music was still playing. It has six drivers. They face in every direction. And what's neat about this guy is charge it for three and a half hours. It plays for 40 hours. Whoa, it plays for 40 hours. At half volume. Oh, now, it's not volume. water resistant. It's waterproof. Okay. <laughs> the company says... It can be submerged up to three feet for 30 minutes. So we're going to, actually, we're just going to dip it in the Hudson River. We're going to run and do it. But then I would be back there dipping in the Hudson. Dennis would be back there filming (laughs) it. No one would be driving the boat. No one would be driving. And we thought, maybe that's not the best idea. So I'm going to put the bows in gear, which uh, puts a lot of spray up. And then we'll dip it in. So let's just start the engine. Okay, it's going. It's a Yamaha four-stroke, 225 horsepower. And we should have some turbulence back there now. Wow. And... <laughs> you play the play. <laughs> Bluetooth does not play underwater. <laughs> Speakers may be impaired by water when submerged in water. Wow! Yeah, off the back now. That's amazing. Yeah. Isn't that great? That sounded great and kept running. It's uh, under $200 without the sport case. Comes with different cases. The sport case, which is really rugged, is uh, the phone, uh, the phone, the Bluetooth speaker end case is under $230. $229.95 and if you search, maybe there are discounts. There are 3.5 millimeter input jack if you don't have Bluetooth. But all in all, I think this is pretty nifty. The Fugu speaker. Okay, Dickie Bartolo, Maz Madis Dryder, getting seasick here <laughs> on the Hudson River. Ah, ah, is it boss proof? 
<laughs> is it barf proof? No, yes, it, is, it is. It is. Is it stomach uh, acid proof? Yeah. No, that is really neat. Uh, it also has a built-in microphone, so it's a full duplex speaker system. Oh, perfect. So you can answer calls on it. Um, I, I was really impressed with the sound and very impressed that you could really dip it in the Hudson. And not only that, uh, we, we didn't film it, but, you know, the Hudson is, is salt water. Yeah. And I didn't want to have salt water on the cabinet, so I laid it on the dock and hosed it off. <laughs> and it still is fine. It, is it's a carbon fiber and aluminum. And so, is it the case that's adding the waterproofing or is the yeah, actual base? I, you know what? I believe the unit itself is right. because the, the, the case adds – what the case adds is – The hooks you, that I saw. Yes, exactly. Right. exactly. There's a, a tripod socket on the bottom. They make a bike mount. It has two aluminum bars on the side. That's what I was able to hook the bungee cord to. So they make it so that you can wrap it around a tree – uh, or, or wrap something around a tree and then stick it in. Yeah, that you, you're showing the tough case there. It, it, I was very impressed with it. And certainly something totally different Bluetooth-wise. And if you're an outdoors person, uh, this is pretty nifty. Yeah, and they come in three different... So if the tough case isn't your style, you got style here, which is a different style of case. And then you also have sport. Um, so that's I, it's funny because I, I think I got an email about a press release about the style version, and it does it does add a very different style and yeah. you know, yes. different functionality. It, it, it's a uh, yeah, and, and the the two you just talked about those are under two hundred dollars. It, it's the uh, aluminum core case that adds to thirty bucks. But I mean, if you want to bounce this along in your bike or something. Um, this is really a gutsy kind of thing. Yeah, very, very neat. Uh, it's yeah. good to see something different in the, in the, in the Bluetooth speaker space. <laughs> yes, exactly. No, there's another event next week, uh, a, a CEA event, and a woman said, oh, you know, you have to stop by this thing. Um, and I said, I'll, I'll come by, but please, no headphones and no Bluetooth speakers. Yeah. She wrote back, and she said... Um, I guess we'll see you the following year. Oh, wow. That is <laughs> so Because basically funny. all we're showing is headphones and <sighs> Bluetooth. I know. that, And that and I'm getting a lot of gaming mice and gaming keyboards and, oh, yeah. Anything. I know. Anything that makes sound, I'm kind of done with. Yes. And, and it, you know, I, and as I walk around the show, I tell people, you know, it's not that I'm not knocking your product. But I've just done too many. Yeah. Uh, first, I said, for, first of all, headphones are just a terrible uh, demo. Uh, but the speakers, like the Fugu, is a great thing because I don't know of any other speaker I could go down and drop in the Hudson River. Where, where I told the manufacturer, I said, you know, I'm going to drop this in the Hudson River. And they said, oh, would you send us some video? That um, sounds great. Good, yeah. good. So, I mean, that's so what it, now my fear is that we're going to get stuff that's like, it's not only a Bluetooth speaker, but it's also a cell phone. Uh, or like, it's also uh, a clock, your home clock, your home phone system. Like, uh, I'm, you know. I, you know, I, I, think, I think that PR people It's also people a chair. Don't, yes. I don't think they, they understand that. Uh, I, I get 20 or 30 press releases a day. Yeah. And, and that... They may be new to the product. I just love it when they said, Dick, you've got to come down. We have the smart home where you can adjust your lights with your phone. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> We've been doing that for 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Okay. So Moving on. Gadget, gadget number two. All right. So you may know, let me just find it here. You may know that living in New York City that... Uh, I've never owned a car in my life. Uh, for a long time, for 42 years, I wrote a monthly boating column. So um, that boat in the video was my 26th boat, wow. but never a car. And I finally broke down and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get a car. And I don't know why my first car would be a Ferrari, but um, it's a Ferrari and it's red. You got to get a Ferrari thing. for the control, you know. 
Yeah, so exactly, long. exactly. But the neat thing, Chad, it's very easy to pause. <laughs> no, this is one of my favorite gadgets. So uh, my sister-in-law, uh, uh, Dennis's sister. It's a mouse she, for the audio listeners. It, yes, it, it is a mouse. <laughs> Uh, uh, she came over and, and she had a she had moved from a, a Mac uh, tower that had crashed and it was like eight years old, and she moved over to a Windows laptop and she said, you know, it's so hard to use the pad. And I said, well, you know, you need a mouse. And she said, well, I don't have one, so I, I, I just unplugged it from my computer. I said, take this, and then I went online and I said, let me replace it with some tricky kind of mouse. <laughs> so I found this little guy and I like this a lot. So the the uh, laser light, I don't know if you can see it. The it makes the brake light lights glow. Makes the brake light the brake lights glow. And then they have blue LEDs for the headlights. That is so and funny. then the little hood ornament is the scroll wheel. And but Chad, the best thing is does it go vroom, vroom, every time you move I, it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, well, Chad, the price. I actually got ripped off oh. because I paid, uh, it's on sale now, but I paid $3.64. Oh, oh, highway, highway, high, I can't say highway, robbery. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now it's now it's down to $3.29. It's much this more is, reasonable. This, this is an unbelievable deal to my mind. It takes about four weeks to get it because it comes from overseas. It comes directly from China. Right. But, Chad, you will love the uh, Amazon description, which I will now, I'll just, parts of it I don't even understand. Like, the KF key operation force is 80 plus or minus 20 GF. Wait, what? But, Yes, no. GF key operation force 20 plus or minus 20 GF 3D button operation force. <laughs> this looks like they sent you the government tech specs that they had to send the NSA. Yes, but but a little further down where it starts to be English, it says it says this. The classic appearance of color match, streamlined appearance grade and avant-garde. <laughs> Four wheel drives like image of mouse is definitely designed to our unexpected, exquisite find vividly before <laughs> us. Oh my God. And then quiet blue set off with red sports car, the whole platform. <laughs> this mouse boats seductive portrait. <laughs> Both right? seductive portrait. It's. <gasps> But it, it got incredibly good. Uh, do you have it back up there again? Because there were a lot of reviews. Just go to the reviews. I think okay. it was like 400 reviews. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to uh, the, the number. of So it got five stars out of 225 people. Overall, four stars out of 411 reviews. And a lot of people said... The headlights do not light up. And a lot of other people said, what are you talking about? The headlights do light up. Mine do light up. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure if people think that they should light up, you know, with a white light. But the headlights glow blue. Uh, I'm, I'm, pretty, really I'm pretty sure the reason that that is is because you have a streamlined experience grade and avant-garde. As it says yeah. in the description quoted streamlined yeah. experience grade avant-garde they may or may not have yeah. headlights that's definitely streamlined experience yeah. avant-garde avant-garde i know <laughs> i know but anyway four-wheel drives want... lifelike image of the mouse is definitely designed to our unexpected <laughs> yes i know our unexpected uh, there's more than that it says oh, our unexpected, unexpected comma exquisite oh it's so long Fine, vividly before us. <laughs> it doesn't even it's, end well. No, I know. It doesn't even... Uh, it's a riot. Oh, uh, it's so funny. Anyway, uh, so that's what it looks like. I think it's pretty nifty. It looks really great on the desk, and it works It works really well. Oh, what a great stocking stuffer, too. If you have, if you have you a You know what? You're absolutely right. Who, who loves cars for $3. We really should have a segment 
the best under five bucks, you know? Oh, you know, at the, yes, maybe at the end of the, yes, we, yeah, you know what? That is a great idea. It's, we keep finding these and, and I yeah. keep needing we to send people like, gifts and I'm just like, what is, what is yeah, that? Yeah, we should do like $5 week or something. Yeah, yeah, this is great. Was, this is absolutely great. <laughs> This is really great. So as I said, I don't know. The price might change. We might drive it way back up to $3.64 like I paid. But as of today, which You know, is what you paid for was the, the genuine Ferrari logo. Oh. I'm sure. <laughs> yes. Yes, I know. <laughs> but, you know, Ferrari, but, you know, they, they cannot just take, you know, they have to take part of everything. Right. They want to. If you would have gotten a BMW, it wouldn't have been fast enough. It wouldn't have been a fast enough mouse. So they said, you know, if you're going to sell that for three dollars and twenty nine cents, we want thirty dollars. We want thirty cents of our own. <laughs> that is anyway. funny. Yeah. Well, cool. Moving on to the to the third gadget. The third gadget. Oh, this is really great fun. So it was something they sent me from the hardware show, the world's, I think it was like the world's stickiest grab pad. Again, I don't have a car, so I couldn't put it on my dashboard. So I decided, let's take it down to the boat. So let's go back to the marina with video two. Ahoy, matey, still on the water, 79th Street Boat Basin in Manhattan. Captain Gizwiz. With the grab pad, world's greatest sticky pad. Uh, I don't have a car, so there's no way to put it on the dashboard of a car, but I figured we'll put it on the dashboard of the boat. And then I thought, you know, we'll be nutty. We'll put it up and down on the boat, and then we'll go out in the river. I oh, mean, wow. That would be ridiculous Wait, if it on stayed this, up, but we'll what? see. Uh, my partner, Dennis, said... You're going to um, put it vertical? How does it apply? And I'd yes. say, well, who knows? Okay. <laughs> um, remove, peel here. Okay, peel here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is really sticky. Oh, my gosh, this is sticky. Whoa! Oh, look at... Whoa! As you unpeel it. It says, congratulations, <laughs> you clean <were> surface. <laughs> also, you can clean the grab pad with hot water and soap. And now it's off. You know, we didn't clean the surface, so we'll just do baka, baka, baka. Like I said, I don't, I don't think they intended you to put it this way, but we'll just see. We're okay. testing it out. This is from... Yes, we're putting it vertically on the, the How dish. stupid can they be laboratory? Okay. And that's supposed and to grab your phone? And then we're going to... Yep. You know, the back of this phone is not flat. You know what we're going to do? We're going to stick the phone <laughs> face down. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> we're doing it for two reasons. Uh, it's unfair to use an uneven back since we have it straight up and down. And this is a uh, kind of a ruggedized back. So we're putting it face down. And it has a big hump on it. Off, yeah, the, for the we'll camera. We'll also know if it left the sticky residue. Okay? So there we go. We're going to stop the camera and we're going out on the Hudson River. And you're coming along. Okay, so we're out on the Hudson. What we're going to do now, it's a little bouncy. We're going to go back through our wake. And we're going to speed it up a little here. Actually, I'm going to go that way because there's a dock over there. Uh, but this is not doing bad. It's uh, staying I'm on sure there. I recommend you doing this, and I'm hoping you can hear me over the noise. But we are bouncing about, and here's our own wake. And <clears throat> so this is pretty good. Let's see. We're going, 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 going. And there's a few more wakes coming up. So this is like taking is, it off road. Uh, yeah, I don't know with the box. Let me look behind me. All right. So, oh, it's grab pad. Uh, world. <laughs> this is amazing. Sticky Isn't pad. it amazing? Yeah. Remember, Dennis is looking for it as we're filming. Okay, but can you feel? About, look at the windshield. Is being covered with uh, from hitting wakes and it comes in different colors grab pad world's greatest sticky pad and when I recorded this in uh, I think like June 14th 
<laughs> they were only five bucks on the company website. Oh, wow. Eight dollars with free shipping, I think, on Amazon. The, your price may change. Yeah, five ninety nine currently all, on their website. I think this is yeah. pretty neat. And now we're going to just see home if it left any gunk on the phone. Okay, so we're going to pull this off. Whoa, wow, that is sticky. Look at that. There's a, there's a tiny bit, but I wiped it off with my palm. And just for laughs, I'm going to put it on this way. Now, this has a lot, lot less surface area. Yes, because there's and a big we'll hump in the back. It it's the uh, Moto the X, I, I think. Before, the back is not flat on this phone. There's a hump. <laughs> you and can I'm see it bouncing I don't all want to around. Beat the up when we go over this wake. So that'll be kind of a really good test. Do it. Still you sticking. Know, you want to put it on this dashboard. Still sticking, so and, and you see me put my flat, hand up, but it's just in case it bounces your off. Right. Because there's a big wake coming. But not like this, okay? So this is the final test coming up here. Holy cow. I'm not holding. <laughs> I just put my hand there in case the phone flew off. But it did not. That was a wake from a so tugboat like going this. by. Impact gel grab pad. You put Made it. In the U.S. of A. Okay, Dick D. Bartola, Maz Madness Rider, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here on Twit. That's I amazing. <laughs> Isn't it? Man, you put that through the test. Uh, and the funny thing is, I dropped it on the rug later on, and it, and it, Picked up all the crap from the room. All the hair. Yeah. All, so the yeah. company said the you can wash it with, uh, run it under the sink. So I washed it. They said soap and water, but I just was able to get all the stuff out, running it under the water. And then I laid it on the sink, but I didn't realize that the end of it was laying up against a box that toothpaste had come in. So when I picked it up from the sink, it just ripped the label off the toothpaste box. So I had to go back and, but I was able to wash the label that had stuck to the back of it. And then, so if you have to wash it, like dry it on the tub, something totally right. flat and porcelain so it can't pick up something else as it dries. But when I took it, uh, after it dried, it was sticky again. Wow. It's really amazing. Leo has something like this. I uh, forget the, the iPad kit, the Decky. And it, it's the Decky slope, and, and he sticks his iPad to it, and it'll stick to the table. And he's been loving it. He's been taking it around to all of the different shows, putting it on the table. Um, it's similar, but it's it has an aluminum frame so that you could stick an iPad onto it. Oh, okay, okay, right. yeah. No, this, the, but at the company website, the the uh, the company, is, if you go to grabpad.com, it, it actually does take you to their company, and they actually make phone cases too with this gel built in. So I guess if you drop your phone, right, uh, or you need to throw it on the uh, dash or something, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. It'll it'll absorb the shock. Wow. But it's it's pretty nifty. That is pretty nifty. I like yeah. it. And I can see, I mean, we you put it through the ultimate test of vertical on a bumpy vertical. phone through on waves. That looks like more turbulence than you would ever add to a car. That was exact. That was fantastic. Exactly. That was exactly. Really great. Cool. Yeah. And, and no residue uh, stuck on the phone when it came up. And it left nothing on the dashboard because I, I took it off just in case I had to do something here at the house. So I pulled it back off. Um, I like this thing a lot. So uh, Home Depot, for some reason, I thought I saw it on Amazon. I can't find it on Amazon now. But uh, on my website, there's a link to the company website. And they also say that um, Home Depot carries it. And so it's uh, 8 bucks at Home Depot, seven ninety eight which is probably going to be about the same after you pay shipping uh, from the company. But it's pretty neat. That is pretty neat. Perfect. Well, we still have my crappy corner. We got a, a Gizwiz gadget warehouse and a letter coming up. But first, wow, I know we got wow. all sorts of stuff left in the show. But first, wow. let's talk about Nature Box. You get hungry. Mm -hmm. I get hungry. Have you have you been chowing down on your nature box and we send you yes, one? Yes, yes. While you talk, I'm gonna reach for something. Okay, perfect, perfect. We all like to talk big. You know, words are cheap about eating healthy and staying fit. But what are you gonna do when it's way late at night? You you need to chow down on something, but all you have left either 
in your in your pantry or at the the, the company's vending machine is stuff that you know you shouldn't eat. What do you do? Well, you turn to NatureBox. NatureBox is great because you don't have to think about it. It arrives at your front door. You have a delicious box of great tasting snacks that are all just perfect. There's, there's no trans fats, no high fructose corn syrup, and nothing artificial inside of these wonderful treats. I have a nature box here, so you can kind of get an idea of what is inside. Uh, this will arrive on your front door after you signed up for your subscription. And inside are the goodies. We got sour cream and onion almonds. Nuts are always good to have. Uh, we got some, what are these? Maple habanero pretzel pops. Oh, that sounds so delicious. Santa Fe corn sticks. Sriracha roasted cashews. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to open that one up. And cocoa waffle wafers. I've had these before. Uh, this is the thing is that the selection on Nature Box is outstanding. If you go to their website, oh, what do you have? Sweet blueberry almonds. Oh my gosh. And I think this is Lisa's favorite, which is their Big yes. Island. Pineapple. That's one of my favorites too. It's some oh. of the best pineapple, dried pineapple mm, I've mm, ever mm, had. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, so delicious. I'm 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 chowing down in this sriracha roasted cashews. Not only do I love cashews, but I love sriracha as well. Um, so like I was saying, this, the selection on the website is amazing. Head on over to naturebox.com slash twit and you can get 50% off your first box, but also you can browse the selection. And there you can you can drill down by types of food so if you if you have a allergy or a dietary need like vegan or soy free or gluten conscious or lactose free you can drill down by that but also you can select by taste so let's say you have someone in in your family uh, that wants something spicy you can choose that you need something sweet to, to fill that sweet tooth you know that that is where you always break down is something sweet just uh just drill down uh by those different flavors i'm going to test out this Sriracha, cashews. Oh, that's good. It's a tough thing you have to do. I know. Testing that. Man, people say I don't work nine to five, and they might be right, but I get to <laughs> try on my cashews. I don't know what I'm saying. It's good. The sriracha. You take your work home with you, basically. It's really light. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then, so anyway. I think we're done with the gizmos, right? It's time for me to go <laughs> no, not home. Not yet, not yet, oh, not darn yet. Target. Um, oh, those are so tasty. I could munch on those all day. The sriracha flavoring is really light. It just adds a, a tiny amount of spice to the cashews. And the cashews are perfect. They're kind of creamy to go along with the sriracha. Oh, that is so delicious. Oh, this might be my new favorite snack. Wow. Okay, we're going to keep these out and next to my computer. And we'll continue on with the ad. So, Go ahead, test it out for yourself. You, you'll get 50% off your first box by heading over to naturebox.com slash twit. And you, you can choose between three different sizes. They have like a small, medium, large box that you can choose from. Go ahead and hit the, the start now. Fill out a little bit of information and then select your snack. So you see there's a small, medium, large uh, sort of style of choosing what you want. And so go ahead and try it out. Stay full, stay strong. Go to naturebox.com slash twit to get 50% off your first box. And we thank Naturebox for their support of the Gizwiz and their support of my stomach because <laughs> that's another very important thing along with the show. Oh, man. I know I'm going to need some cocoa waffle wafers to wash down the, the spiciness of the sriracha. sriracha. The sriracha builds a little bit, so I could see if I ate the whole bag, I would be quite, quite spicy. So, let's go ahead. I think it's time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the time when Chad digs into his secret corner to you come know, up with something that it, isn't... But you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. And it's things, the theme for the... Whoa, the theme this month is things that are inflatable... 
What are they, cufflinks? What Close. So, this is something from my childhood. First, do I need to put this on now? Okay. <laughs> that when you say your childhood, we're talking, what, last summer? Yeah, exactly. A few, a few weeks ago, uh, I was so... Oh, wait a minute. What? Ladies and gentlemen, he is now putting on I'm... a crown. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh my. Okay, that's enough. Enough punching me Does right Jeff in the face. know that the crash helmet protects your head and not your face? You know, it, it doesn't really protect the cheeks that much. How do I get out of this thing? <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay. So, we are reviewing the soccer boppers. <laughs> these guys... Soccer bopper. I love it. These are from my childhood. And, and <laughs> Josh, I don't know if you have the commercial of these as a kid... Uh, but these are definitely inflatable for the month. Come back here, Jeff. You know, you got a, a few good hits on me, and I didn't get anything on you. <laughs> oh, wow. He is, oh, my word. <laughs> you kind of hit yourself in the face there. He's just in time there. to take to, to your camp with you next week. Wow, I really need to learn some, like, some actual <laughs> technique of, of punching here. <laughs> you got my hip. I will hit your hip. <laughs> These might incite violence in your children, but they are a ton of fun. So the idea of the soccer, bopper, soccer boppers is that they're inflatable like pillows that go on your hand. And uh, after did, did we've been, did you hand blow that up? What did you? So we use? we we used a, a a pump to to blow them up, but it, but. Well. You can use, you can, yeah, you can just use your lungs to, to blow it up if you wanted. We like to use the, the hand pump because we don't know who's going to have them afterwards. So we use a, a completely sterile oh, thing to blow them up. Oh, got it, got it, got um, it. So, as a child, I remember these as, this is almost like a warehouse, except I didn't have them around. So we bought, you know, I, we bought it so, to show it off. Um, I remember these as Sockum boppers, not soccer boppers. At uh -huh. some point during the creation or the marketing of this, they switched. Um, Jeff has some some commercials here, uh, and I can go ahead and play play these. Uh, do you see this, um, for, uh, Josh, on my computer? I think he's doing other stuff. Um, uh, here we are. So oh, the, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> you can imagine, like the violence this incites in children. Soccer boppers. More fun than the pillow fight. By Big Time Toys. Soccer boppers. So uh, we have not scientifically tested if they are quite, in fact, funner than a pillow fight. Uh, that might just be hyperbole. But, uh, so that was soccer boppers. But then here's soccer, sock mm, boppers, which is what I remember. Same thing. Sock em boppers, more fun than a pool. Sock em boppers. Oh, that kid productions uh, apparently uploaded that to YouTube. So these are the soccer boppers variety. Okay. They're made out of like a vinyl uh, here, and you just. Shove your head and hand inside. Now, do you have to buy two, or is it a two in a box? So there are two. There are two in a box. Uh, this one was the green and blue color uh, that Jeff is sporting. So Jeff's sporting the. Or here, I can just hold them up. Uh, this is the green and blue color on this one, and we wanted we wanted to show off too. So we bought another pair. They do come in, in two to a box. Uh, so Ooh. this is the blue and red version. Of this soccer, this is the one that we ha that I was I was using, you know, or the OMG Chad hair. Um, inside, so once you blow them up, uh, uh, there, you know, the vinyl on the outside. On the inside, there is sort of like a weird felt, so that your hand kind of has something to grab onto. They also come with a, you know, it might be on my desk. They come with a patch repair uh, strip, which is basically glorified packing tape. Um, but oh, they okay. do they do give you that. So if you were indeed to pop them on a sharp object in your house when your kids are rough housing, uh, right. you can. Or, or if you're using a sock and pop them, and someone else is using a knife. Right, right. Yeah. If you, if okay, you come, got it. right. So this is the uh, this is the repair strip that they offer. Uh, it has the it has the I don't know plastic on one side, 
and then instructions for the repair oh, patch okay. on the other. But yeah, this is basically, I mean, packing t base, uh, t tantamount. Uh, it's a little bit more, uh, it's either that or just cheap plastic. It's a little bit more flexible than normal packing tape. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I remember these. Are you going to take them with you next week? <laughs> I don't know. See, I'm worried. I mean, yeah, they, they hurt. They lessen, you know, it's definitely lessening the impact, but the right. you're still getting like concussion. Like, if a strong person was to punch you with this, right. it would still really hurt. Um, Okay. You know, okay, so we're we're gonna scientifically prove this is a pillow. Yeah, we'll show people that you're gonna hit with oh. a pillow. Okay, now hit me with okay, okay. Now hit me with a pill with the sock and bopper. I I don't know. I mean I might say that that's more fun. What I'm, the pillow? The pillow might be more fun. Uh but you don't you can't you can't surgically attach a pillow to your hand, so that's a downside. No, that's true. That's true. So that is the soccer boppers. These are, uh, they were a little bit more expensive than I uh, expected. Coming, our, uh, coming in at, uh, I think, 16 mm, Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. They went down in price. $6.75. Well, no, it's 12 bucks. Oh, uh, they're $12 because this has $6.63 uh, in shipping. Yeah, yeah. So that's, yeah, they're not, I, I just looked, they're not Amazon Prime. Right. Right, that's that's what so, I was coming up with. Yeah, so you're in for like thirteen bucks, roughly, right? right. Roughly thirteen dollars, and we got two, so it was twenty twenty six bucks for for both of them, uh, because it would. I mean, I guess you could give each kid one soccer bopper. Uh, you know what? You fight. know you know the, you know the one Jeff hit you with. Mm -hmm. I, I just. It's behind you. I said a brick just fell out of that. <laughs> Actually, that would be uh, the reinforced helmet that oh, the, is okay. bulletproof. That, he was, he, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's more soccer bopper shaped. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So this is, anyway, this is more like sock them and drop them kind <laughs> of. <laughs> it kind of is, and I don't know if these are still sold in stores. I remember back, you know, back when I was a, a kid, you could find them in Toys R Us. Oops, there, that goes that one. Um, but yeah, you know, maybe. So that they're fun, but you have to be careful. They're that fun, sort of... but you really have to be yeah. careful. Absolutely. Um, and this is what <laughs> someone said: you could use them for bumpers on a boat. <laughs> you could. You could throw it over the side. A bumper, consider a bumper on a boat is about seventy dollars. The problem is the first wake. I fear they would be gone. So. <laughs> yeah, probably. These kids Just look like they're having an awful lot of fun. He yeah. says more fun than a pillow fight. I, I would beg to, to argue, uh, but this is... I have an idea that it's Photoshop and those kids are actually 3,000 miles apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they couldn't be there on the same day of, uh, of shooting the photos, so... Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, what does it say? For soft, safe fun, air inflated, it says. Um, yeah, and so these are the soccer boppers, which oh, yeah, I remember. Air. How, how, how could air hurt you? No, I mean no, no one. It's air. Uh uh. No one's ever died. Wendy, from what do you mean diving. the kid lost five teeth? It's <laughs> air. <laughs> so uh, we are, are coming to the end of this month. Next episode will be the last last week. So we need a little bit of time to order our next month's gadgets. So we have a straw poll set up. Uh, you can head on over to twit.to/omgcrap7. And that will bring you to the straw poll for next month. We have drinking, as in alcohol and and that sort of stuff, or you know, just I guess water bottles and and straws and things like that. Uh, we have okay. home improvement, so that could be hanging stuff on walls and you know, home improvement style things. Water, and that could be squirt guns. It could be water bottles. It could be. Things that you play with at the pool, that sort of stuff. And then we have added pets uh, for cats or dogs or pets. So it looks like okay. currently home improvement with just a few votes oh. is, uh, is uh, at the top here. Let me post this in the chat room. We haven't even done that yet. So the, the audience who would be voting here uh, isn't even voting yet. So, yeah. So uh, that is next month. That is twit.to. So twit.
2.2 slash OMG crap 7 for the seventh month of the, the year. And there we are. The votes are coming in. Uh, currently drinking. Uh, and it doesn't have to be, I said alcohol at first, but it does not have to be alcohol. Uh, drinking is winning. Actually, it is tied for pets. Wow, this is a dead heat. Six pets now is tied with drinking home improvement in pets. And wow, they are, you know, it's amazing. It's almost uh, a, a perfectly divided it's into four. It's almost a perfectly divided. It's home amazing. Oh, I think it was there for just a second. Just a minute, yeah. Uh, so if if we do water, uh, there's a chance that the gadget will end up wet. So no, if we, no, you or I will end up wet. That, <laughs> why why would we tell him that, Jeff? Uh, he's giving me notes. Uh, yeah, I might I might have to, I guess, pour water on myself or something. So uh, please feel free to vote twitter to slash omg crap seven. So uh, let's go ahead and get to. The Gadget Warehouse! They're geeky and they're goofy Together they are loopy When gadgets pass away He takes them out to play In this Gadget Warehouse What do you got for us this week? All right, so this is a video. I was not going to run this video because it's a little self-serving. Mm -hmm. So I showed it to Dennis, who is sort of the East Coast uh, producer of the Gizmos. <laughs> nice. And he said, he said, this guy is so much fun, I would just show the video anyway. So uh, let's take a look at the video from Tim Rabba, R-A-B-E-R. -E and here's Tim's Gadget. Hey, Dick and Chad, it's Tim Raber from Henderson, Kentucky. I've talked with you several times via email about my cast, my Timex data bank watch. Oh, wow. He's talking about me because I love this USB watch. Cable somewhere dead. Can't find another one. I am a watch guy, so I'm, I bought this Timex. I don't like it, but it works. Uh, what I really want to talk about is one of my favorite gadgets I bought from you. And Meaning that Dick is Dick. my Gizwiz hat. Oh, yeah. Okay. Boy, I've does he, does he wear it. versions of this. It's amazing. Uh, this is version one. I bought it in January of 2008. Bought version two in November of 2009. Wow. But I've got no version three now. I've had for several years, and I love it. Okay. <laughs> version one and two, I like the lights better. I like the two lights. Uh, it just, I, I prefer the two lights, but this one has three, and of course, they do work. Just put wow. new batteries in them recently because mine had uh, died. But I love my Gizwiz hat. Uh, I know this is a little self-promoting for you. No, this is great. Uh, that's one of my favorite gadgets I've ever bought. I've watched you and Leo since uh, number one. Well, I listened to them. I didn't start watching until later. But uh, y'all do a great job. I thought I would miss Leo, but, you know, you and Chad do a great job. Thank you. Uh, I see enough of Leo uh, on the other <laughs> ones. I listen and watch. So uh, love the Twit Network. Maybe Twit Network needs to get a, light, a hat with lights. I would probably buy that, too. So y'all have a good day and keep up the good work. Thanks. Oh, that is, that is so cool to see him. That's have kind of fun, isn't it? For oh, like, wow, wow, that is so cool. Just the newest version is over five years old. W was that right? Yeah, yeah about wow. right. About right. Uh, wow. He liked the first. I mean, the first hat. I, I 
It's, it looks like he cleans out the inside of steam locomotives. No, it looks like it. he has to fight bleach on a daily basis. Yes, exactly. Wow. E exactly. Yeah, the first two hats had, you know, just two headlights on it. And then the, the newest one, the newest one I, I kind of like is because two lights shine straight down. So you can read. So you, you can read, or if you're walking with the dog, you can see where you're walking and the headlight forward is where the dog is walking anyway. And I thought it was fun to hear him say that. Uh, he sees enough of Leo on other shows. That's so great. And that he, he enjoys seeing you, so. Wow, that is the coolest, that is the coolest so warehouse. Was, Very neat. Anyway, and the hats still exist. They're on my website, yeah. so I will throw it. Yeah. yeah. How much How much the hats run? You know, I think they're $21 or $23. I can't even remember. <laughs> it's been so long. It's been so long. Garbage. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, it's with garbage. Yeah, yeah, twenty twenty three ninety nine. Yeah, perfect. Because I had to buy a hundred of them to you know get them made. Right, right. Well, that is fantastic. Uh, very cool. So let's go ahead and move on to the letter. Our letter of the week, <clears throat> and Josh is going to run a little bit of video so you might, so that you can recall the letter writer who sent in a video of the week. And we, uh, later on, we'll go back and talk about sending in your video. We forgot to do that. Um, the letter starts, hi, Chad. Hi, Dick. I came home from a survey of an offshore installation in Mexico was spending the afternoon catching up on all the Gizwiz episodes I missed while I was gone. I dozed off and was shocked to wake up oh. seeing myself smashing a hard drive. <laughs> that was a good call, Dick. Uh, I, I thought she looks very official. She said that was a good call. I am an ex-Coast Guard. I'm ex-Coast Guard. I'm a licensed merchant, merchant marine master. Although, sadly, I never had a command. I served several years as chief officer, second in command, uh, also known as the captain's kicking boy. <laughs> uh, I'm retired from going to the sea next year and concentrating on being a marine surveyor. Yes, to answer the question I get most, I guess she's serious here. To answer the question I get most, I have sailed with Captain Phillips. Whoa! That was back when he was master of the MV Green Ridge. I enjoy the show. Looking forward to my crap. Best regards, Captain S.L. Sam Pirtle, P-I-R-T-L-E, uh, Marine Surveyor. And Sam's referring to the crap because we showed her video a few weeks ago. Yeah. And we showed Tim's video. Uh, we're looking for more videos. You get some crap. I don't know. Are they gonna? Is the the Sockum the Sockum boppers will be possibly? shipped out? I'm pretty positive. Oh, okay. Unless Jeff, unless no, is Jeff? Does Jeff have a, a attachment? We might. Uh, we'll well you'll one. get something. We'll you'll get you'll, something. You'll, you, We've covered so yes. much stuff. Uh, we, you we get just, something from the, the the brick house. You get the current issue of Mad Magazine. You get a 35 euro Alfredy Newman picture. You both might get some Tim, soap. <laughs> you get some soap. Both Tim and Sam will get that since we showed their videos. So we're looking for more videos. Um, our, our favorites are My Gadget Warehouse. Crap that you just have and you don't want to get rid of. I mean, you can't get rid of it for some strange reason. Uh, just make a two to three minute video and put it on YouTube and send the link to gizwiz at twit.tv. And it can be My Gadget Warehouse. I invented this. I bought a piece of crap. Sam, that, that was Sam's video. She bought a, uh, I forgot how she described it. It was like, oh, military-grade hard drive. Military-grade hard drive. Which was, which was all plastic, and she could <laughs> hear the pot shaking around inside. Uh, all my favorite gadget of all time, uh, which is kind of Tim's, which is a combination of 
warehouse and his favorite gadget. So, uh, like I said, two to three minute video, put it on YouTube, gizwiz at twit.tv, send the link there. Perfect. And, and make get crap. You will get some crap. We, do, we actually just recorded the soap for next week, and the guy said, I don't, I don't want it. So I could send that to you. <laughs> <laughs> also, make sure that you play the What the Heck Is It game at gizwiz.biz. Uh, this month's, uh, we're getting close to, or is it we still got another month left? No, no, it's uh, May and June. It's May and June. Yes, yes, yeah. we are getting close. We're getting really close. So make sure that you guess what the heck is this. This is everything. We're not just seeing a part of the gadget. No, that's the whole thing. If you, if you bought this, that's all you would get. I feel like it's a it's a laser light. There's I can see like maybe some little holes right here to tell when you're about ready to put your hand down the drain. Uh, so you know, this looks like a, a rock'em sock'em for really <laughs> mean kids. It does. It's for professionals. This is, this is the professional version of the of the soccer <laughs> bopper. Uh, if you guess, there are twelve. Uh, for and you guess correctly, there are twelve. Mad Magazines, the new uh, 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 Mad Magazines that have been autographed by Dickie D, and 24 that are for silly answers. So if you're creative and funny and uh, uh, have something wonderful to say, you get, you get a better chance of getting that autographed magazine. So head on over to the website and check that out. We normally record on Thursdays, Wednesdays, whatever day today is, uh, <laughs> Wednesdays at 7.30 my time. Right. 4.30 your time. But what's going to happen this week, uh, This week, next week, if you, or this week, if you want to catch it live, you're, you're going to have to tune in on Friday. We're going to record on Friday at the same time, but just two days uh, from this day. So at 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern, and uh, we'll do a quick episode. So if you tune in next week at the correct time, you won't see us. Uh, now, the shows are going to be published exactly the same. So if you subscribe to the show in RSS or, or YouTube or whatever, uh, they're going to be exactly the same because our edit schedule, we, we only have editor time on a specific day to push it out. So nothing will change if you subscribe to the show. And that about wraps it up for this episode. I guess we'll see you next week. I'll be here.